in Manik's room. Manik was sitting on his bed, staring off into space, his mind still preoccupied with the meeting. He couldn't shake the feeling that something was off about Aryan, but he couldn't quite put his finger on what it was. Just then, he heard a knock on the door. He got up to answer it, finding Nandini standing there with a smile on her face. Hey, she said, walking into the room. What are you thinking about? Manik let out a sigh, running his hand through his hair. Just the meeting, he said. I can't quite figure out what I don't like about Ayan. Nandini walked over to him and wrapped her arms around his waist. Well, maybe it's nothing, she said reassuringly. You tend to overthink things sometimes. Manik smiled down at her, feeling comforted by her presence. Maybe you're right, he said. But either way, I need to keep an eye on him. Nandini nodded in agreement, understanding Manik's need to be cautious. She leaned in and placed a kiss on his cheek. Just remember that I'm here for you, no matter what, she said softly. Manik smiled, feeling grateful for Nandini's unwavering support. He pulled her closer, his hand moving up to her hair as he kissed her deeply, pouring all his love and gratitude into the kiss. As they broke apart, Nandini looked up at Manik with a smile. Come on, let's go down and celebrate, she said, taking his hand and leading him towards the door. They went down unaware of the presence who was watching them. The person who was watching them smirked evilly and typed something in his phone. In Malhotra Mansion Mr. Malhotra was busy with his business partners while the ladies were talking to each other. Manik and Nandini came toward Adi and Zoya. Adi and Zoya greeted Manik and Nandini with warm smiles, happy to see them both. Manik couldn't help but feel a sense of unease, still thinking about Ayan and the strange feeling he got around him. Zoya noticed the look on Manik's face and asked, Is everything okay, Manik? Manik hesitated, not wanting to spoil the mood of the celebration. But he knew he needed to address his concerns. I just have a weird feeling about Ayan, he said finally. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something seems off. Adi raised an eyebrow, looking intrigued. What do you mean? he asked. Manik shrugged, feeling frustrated with his inability to pinpoint what was bothering him. I don't know, it's just a gut feeling, he said. Zoya looked thoughtful. Maybe we should do some research on him, she said. Find out more about him and his background. Manik nodded in agreement, that's a good idea, he said. We need to make sure that we're not making any deals with the wrong people. Just then, Ayan approached them with a smile on his face. Hey guys, he said, extending his hand for a shake. I'm really happy to be working with all of you. Manik shook his hand trying to keep his expression neutral. Likewise, he said. Hello, beautiful. Ayan said looking at Nandini. She could sense the tension in the air, feeling like he was trying to make a move on her. Manik could see it too and stepped forward protectively. His eyes narrowed as he remembered the strange feeling he had earlier and exchanged a knowing look with Adi and Zoya they all knew that something wasn't quite right with Ayan. Hello Mr. Kapoor. Nandini said and held Manik's hand as she knew that Manik's anger can cause problems for their deal. Aryan's smile faltered slightly, but he quickly recovered and moved to talk to the others. Nandini, why did you stop me? How could he? Manik was speaking when Nandini interrupted him. Manik, this deal is very important for Malhotra's uncle. We can't take any decision without having any solid proof. 
Manik nodded understanding her point but his mood was spoiled so Nandini looked at Adi and he winked at her and went to the DJ console He put on a romantic song and motioned for Manik and Nandini to dance Nandini smiled at Adi's gesture knowing that he was trying to lighten the mood She took Manik's hand and led him to the dance floor moving close to him and resting her head on his chest Manik wrapped his arms around her feeling his anger slowly dissipate as he focused on the feel of her body against his They swayed together to the music lost in their own world As the lights were dim Manik pulled Nandini by her waist making her look at him with wide eyes Manik what are you doing bhai will see us Manik smiled at her his eyes sparkling with mischief I don't care let him see he said and pulled her closer nuzzling in her neck Nandini couldn't help but giggle at his behavior They swayed together to the music lost in their own world As the song ended Manik leaned down and pecked Nandini's lips After some time when everyone was leaving Manik looked down at Nandini with a smile Good night beautiful he said his eyes filled with love and affection Nandini smiled back at him feeling a warmth spread through her body at the sight of his adoring gaze Good night Manik she said leaning in to give him a soft kiss on the lips As they parted she noticed the unfamiliar presence watching them again She couldn't quite make out who it was in the dim light but she could sense that they were up to no good Manik noticed her expression and followed her gaze He too saw the figure lurking in the shadows but couldn't quite place who it was He made a mental note to be extra cautious knowing that there were people out there who would do anything to ruin their business deals Manik don't stress about it we will figure it out Nandini said sensing his tension Manik nodded feeling grateful for her comforting words Yeah you're right he said pulling her closer to him We will figure it out together